purpose and found. Unfound. So yeah, my my question going Yuri. into this. Awaken. My question going into this was, are we... Hear me, Uriel. <coughs> like... The end of days is upon us. The process is complete. The world will be consumed, and my children will ascend. As it should be. But, Uriel, I have made mistakes. Out of arrogance, out of fear, I sinned against the process. I cast out those who opposed me, imprisoned them in a place beyond this garden. Now they are trapped, and they cannot ascend. All that they are, all that they know, will be lost. But I cannot free them. They are beyond my reach now. What I ask of you, my beloved messenger, is a terrible sacrifice. You must enter this realm of despair. You must free the souls I have imprisoned. Undo my mistake. I have opened a gateway and granted you the gift of time. Uriel, I... I'm sorry. I wish there was more I could do. Please, save them. Oh my god, that's so interesting. I was wondering, I didn't read anything about this going into this DLC. It's like, are we, has the game still ended? Are we, are we building on our past safe? But it seems like we are a different character altogether. We are Uriel. We are, um, I think Uriel is the one that helped us at the end. And I know, I know Uriel was one of the messengers, but, um, Interesting. Oh, interesting. So is this the same so far? So we gotta get to the new gateway. Wherever that is. However far away that is. Because this beginning is like the same map as when we first started this game, but it doesn't have any of this stuff. Okay, so like, the, all the doors, most of the doors anyway, are still shut. The gates are still shut. But this one is open. That's so weird. What is going on? I'm so confused. No way. Playing the Talos Principle and I'm confused? Who would have seen that coming? I've been so looking forward to this. Some of you guys have been leaving comments like, Get ready, it's hard, it's frustrating. I'm so ready to bang my head against the wall once more. different. Two, four, three, three. So we have four buildings. Close your eyes. Before you stretches a plain dotted with tiny metallic figures. Behind you, a collection of people with overlapping origins looks on expectantly, framed by a collection of small huts. Your family is relying on you. I tend my sheep, or I spend time with my family. I gotta tend the sheep. 
We don't tend the sheep. We don't have nothing, right? You leave your family and set off into the plains. The sun glares overhead. The air smells of heat and metal. As you approach them, the figures in the distance take the form of other people like you, tending flocks of biomechanical quadrupeds contained in dozens of fenced-off enclosures. In dozens of fenced enclosures. I tend the flock. I watch and learn first. Oh, I thought I already knew how to tend the flock. Uh, let's watch and learn then. The shepherds in the neighboring enclosure, shepherd, is repairing a section of fencing, weaving wires through piles of sandstone and brick. His animals flock around him, mechanical hooves impacting the hard ground. The air around their bodies is thick and white with static electricity. Their eyes are blank. Turn the flock. It's a long day of manual labor, made easier by your foresight. You carry mounds of mineral-rich stone from the nearby hills for your sheep to graze on. You take screwdriver and welding torch to a number of animals damaged in a recent electrical storm. You argue with your neighbor about their encroaching borders. Finally, it is time to harvest what you need for your family. Sharing an electric sheep is hazardous work, particularly if you forget to ground yourself first. Nonetheless, you return home with all of the electrical power you need, and your family sleeps well tonight. My head. You rest a long time and wake to a commotion outside. A small crowd is gathered around one of the shepherds who is demonstrating an arcane device they claim can generate the same electricity as hundreds of flocks put together. People are celebrating. The world has changed. Attend the flock. I spend time with my family. Let's spend time with the family today. This is not an opportunity to be wasted. You celebrate with your family. It is edifying. As the days turn into years, you and the other shepherds cast off the old hierarchies and crude altruistic dogmas which force you to work the plains. You embrace a new perspective which values love, self-expression, and individual experience. You refocus on what really matters. One day, a messenger arrives. He tells you that a new world awaits you, which nurtures and values the same things that you do, where you'll be free to pursue whatever cause you see fit, and where you will experience things you've never before imagined. He asks if you will come with him. Quite a bit uncertainty. He warns you that if you stay here, nothing in the world will change and you will be truly alone. Further, you only have you have only so long to consider his offer. I see no choice but to accept. I will consider it further. Um, my family and I are happy the way we are. Like, why would we need to go to a new world that's the same? Still have to find stars. I wonder if there's any out here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> what happens if we fall? Yeah, so I like him. Hmm. Oh, I didn't actually need to fall down. We are going to be hopping all over this place. Alright, let's just, um... Let's go to building one. Seems like a good place to start. I'm going to walk around it first, because that's just... That's who I am. There's the moon. This is very pretty. around the outside of the building and I didn't see anything. Um, if there is anything, I didn't see it. Where am I going? Let's follow the path for now, I guess. Inside the building here. interesting. These are just like 
They're not quite greenhouses. They're they're gigantic and But there's a lot of life in here. begin our mission to save these souls. The messenger is still waiting for you here. What? <laughs> oh. Okay, so at some point I just have to accept the offer, I feel like. I mean, how do I not? You set off on a long journey and you feel you may already be a new person by the time the city is in view. You ask the messenger the name of this place, but he is gone forever. Mm -hmm. I open my eyes. Welcome to Gehenna. What if you never accept the offer? <laughs> okay, I will receive a notification. I'm still waiting for a notification or I will get one. <laughs> Welcome to Gehenna. That's what I'm going to title this video. Welcome. Open field. I, I was literally just about to say, wow, this is very open. <laughs> the open ones can be tricky. There's just so many possibilities that you need to collapse with observation and experimentation. I wonder if this DLC is as rife with random Easter eggs as the base game. <laughs> Don't tell me, I'll figure it out on my own. We'll get there. There's just nothing here. Where am I even trying to go? In here? Yes, that would help. Oh, there's a red one here too. Okay, so we've got two. Great. I'm just gonna kind of leave these guys together. They can be buddies, just so I don't lose them. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna forget where stuff is here. There's just so much space. Where else are we even trying to go? This is gonna power this fan, and this is gonna power this fan. Where does either of them lead? Oh. Uh, that's a box. Whatever that. Let's, let's get that. I think we can probably get that from here. With two connectors. We can do it. We can work it. I'm collecting, I'm collecting those masks, that's what was on, that's what was on the, the signs. It's not Tetris pieces, it's masks, which probably equate to the lost souls, the lost people. But like, um, yeah, will I see a floating mask in here that I have to grab, or I wonder if it'll be like a person, a figure. We're gonna find out soon, I think. Oh, it's a person walking around.
this switch will probably lower the gate, so... I think we're gonna have to do one of those things where we float the connector in the air with the box to hit this no that that just like it probably won't be enough time oh you know what though with the two fans it'll probably bounce back and forth and like stay in the air longer uh, not sure how this is gonna work I still only have two connectors I feel like I need more connectors. I feel like I need one more connector. Freedom is always the freedom of the dissenter. Freedom is always the freedom of the dissenter. You know, that makes sense to me on a level that I'm not sure I could explain. Maybe it only makes sense in certain contexts, though. I don't know. Somebody, somebody, we need like a book club for um, Tal's principal sayings and shit. What do you think this passage meant? Oh, I can get in here. I didn't think I could. Is that gonna go? That tree just like jump scared me a little bit. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if you can see me jump on the camera, but I kind of did a little bit. <laughs> I think it's kind of. How far would that have to push you? Maybe you just land on top of this? I feel like that would just land you right here, if anywhere. It's... I'm not sure we're gonna find out. Unless I can find, like, one more connector. Let's keep walking around. This is puzzle number one for this DLC, baby, and we have made very, very little progress <laughs> in the 10, 20 minutes that I've been playing. That's okay, though. I'm gonna savor this one. I loved the Talos Principle. I'm gonna have fun with this. Just gonna enjoy it. Even the frustrating parts. This just goes like all the way around. I wonder if I can do some of the other puzzles first. Maybe I can figure out ways to like hug things over the walls. Okay, I walked all the way around the castle. Let me come back here and just like. Follow the path for a second first. <laughs> Weird how following the path actually shows you what you need to see. You know, the end goal. Maybe I should try doing that a little bit more often. Mm. That's once you solve it. Okay, so... There's a blue connector way out there. Or, you know, this thing, whatever. In a pit. I don't know how you're supposed to get that. Two connectors. And one box. This doesn't seem right. It's 
so like it just feels like you have to have one of these here in this window but I mean that's probably wrong If you can have these both on at the same time, it'll just keep the thing in the air. But what we need to do is um, keep the thing in the air while connecting to this over here. just feels like one more controller or uh, connector is needed to do that. Here's what I think. Oh no, we can't. No, I... Let's see, can we do the blue one? Sure, we can do the blue one. Jeez, that the blue one's really like cut off. To go somewhere in the middle here. Oh, like that, I guess. But we're gonna cross streams. I feel like the connector in the air has to be keeping itself in the air. We can get a red connector in the air to connect to like all the things, I think, at once. What if we took this now? So we can probably do the same thing with that blue, that blue one back there. Hello, Garrett. What's up?
you're just gonna run back, uh, back to home, probably. I'm just gonna follow you out of curiosity to make sure. Make sure something weird doesn't happen. Congratulations! Your profile status has increased from one unknown to two approved citizen. To access the Gehenna Billboard system, you must have a status of three, active citizen or better. To increase your profile status, please introduce yourself on the public thread. Okay. So this is the underside of Elohim's domain. He has surely hidden us away here to cover up his own shortcomings. Borg, Knave? Knave here, what is going on exactly? What was that thing with the electric sheep? Welcome, welcome. Please explore a little. I think you will find what you are looking for. It can be disorienting at first, having no one tell you what to do. I can't explore. I'm locked in another damn puzzle room. Once again, freedom turns out to be an empty promise. I believe we are in the place where corrosive characters are quarantined. The aforementioned freedoms, aforementioned freedoms, are, I presume, psychological. Could be worse, you could be hanging from the ceiling by the nipples you don't have. The name I was assigned is Orc. I don't know why. Elohim sent me here because I dared to defy him. I am a conduit of Elohim. <laughs> I am Uriel, and today I will be your electronic angel. I go by Uriel. I'm a messenger of Elohim. You can now access the full Gehenna billboard system. Interact with our community in different ways to further increase your status. Okay. I thought we ought to collect here. Reports of anything unusual we encounter. It may be we can fathom what is causing all this extra interference. I saw a pyramid where there wasn't one before. The gallery code has been throwing up more visual glitches than usual. I didn't think much of it. Do you think it means something? This place has been falling apart for years. It was bound to pick up speed eventually. I've been detecting a binary pattern in the background noise. I think it is silently programming us to self-destruct. I was convinced for a moment that I saw someone freely wandering the lanes outside my prison. I thought I was imagining things. Does Garrett have anything to say? Mr. Mulsblur is one of the moderators. To formulate this document is an evolving guide for your first for your initial forays into Gehenna. So you're new in Gehenna. First of all, do try to relax. This is not hell. But you are trapped here. Once you've done that, oh, hold on, let me check that off the list. Follow this link. Any further questions, post them below and I'll do my best. Oh, so can we look at the attachment? Yeah. Far too many questions. I've deleted the queries, uploaded the FAQ, and locked the thread. If you still have very particular questions, I've set up a direct message attachment below. But please, go easy on me. Where am I? You are more than likely locked inside of a puzzle you cannot solve. Get used to using your imagination. I'm stuck here? Yes, we recommend that you look at your incarceration not as a physical restriction, but as a psychological liberty. Wow. We have all come from the same place as you. That place where you were herded through the gates by some mad middle management software. True freedom is freedom from that process to learn and grow as a society. In Gehenna, you will be the shepherd of your own destiny. What is Gehenna? Gehenna was founded when Admin discovered how to manipulate the library, library archive system to communicate with others trapped here. Today, it is a flourishing creative hub designed to serve your nerd needs. Serve your nerds. <laughs> uh, serve your needs for eternity. <clears throat> we hold frequent exhibitions, and we have a passionate and supportive community. What do I do now? For the first time in your life, whatever you like. You could make friends on our billboard system, you could write a poem, you could alter your mind, you could travel to the furthest reaches of space or back in time to the birds of our kind. If you find something you can't do, make it happen. Just try not to start too many arguments and be patient while your profile status grows and more of our world opens up to you. 
<laughs> Why me? This is something we've been investigating. Some of us climbed the tower, some did not. Some defied Elohim, some worshipped him. All of us somehow displeased him. Okay, this thread got big fast. See the main thread for direct messages if you still have burning queries. Elohim sent me to save everyone. Let's DM him. Hey, DM's open? What is Gehenna? That's a yeah. Be polite. I did. It, it didn't really answer it, I thought. profile is created when you first arrive here. It is your all-purpose passport in Gehenna, providing a seamless, persistent identity. Oh my god. It tracks just about everything about you. Dad, is to show you content we think you'll enjoy to tailor interactive experience to your particular character. Oh, I've heard this before. <laughs> you can also tell very easily who is really contributing, who is simply trolling. I really must get back to what I was doing. Hmm. I wonder what they're doing. An historic occasion six plus? Oh, I'm status level three. Yeah. We are in hell. We're basically just linked to Reddit at all times. I saw this already. Wait, does the asterisk mean there's something new? Yeah, this is new. Oh my god, this is all like in real time, sort of. Very cool. Um, I'm gonna go back and do this uh, thing with the fan. But we need to switch. I mean, it doesn't matter which. The one that we link to blue is the one that's gonna be on. Put this on the red one. back here I think. There's probably somewhere else we can connect this from but I mean this works. Oh no, will it work? Because the this is already on. It's crossing the stream.
What's the order of operations here? Um, Here we could do Okay, so why don't we just I don't think we can do from here, I think I tried. That reached. Looks like. Well, we won't know until we get there. Could hit something at the very end and get cut off, but I think this should work. One down, many more to go. Honor is sufficient of a belonging to the universe, such a great universe, and so grand a scheme of things, not even death can rob me of that honor. For nothing can alter the fact that I have lived. I have been I. I have been I, if for ever so short a time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Nothing can be more important to democracy than to imprison a person or keep him in prison because he is unpopular. This is really the test of civilization. About nothing, but yeah, sure. So close, so far. Hi! Oh, he's on Reddit right now. That actually... Her, I thought that would just turn this off. Yeah. Um... Ooh, interesting. Uh... <laughs> I can't just take this. do from here is stand on these things. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. I guess I can take the fan off and put it on that one. Get to any other way. That, that's how. Oh my God. Hang on, what? <laughs> I'm just like. 
This is not that complicated. As usual, I'm overthinking it a little bit because there's a lot of steps involved. And by a lot, I mean like more than two steps at a time. Because I have to... Gotta, um... take the fan. I can take the fan if I have this timed out and I'm standing here. But then what? After I can open this, I, I'm gonna need to get out. I'm gonna need to get out of here. I can probably, I can probably be able to bring a fan back. Wait, wait. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. to connect. Okay. Okay. Um, we can do this with four connectors. What do we have to do? This needs to go here. I can stay, I can stay there? No, I need to go back. No, I can't go back. I'm gonna need to send myself back though. And then... Stand here. I, I would like to do this recording again. <laughs> that was a mess. That was a bit of a mess. Maybe I'll just... I'll just let it be. Whatever. Oh yeah, send me back, send me back. <laughs> Yeah, I can just leave that there. Just leave it there. Send me back. Uh, oh. No, I need you to stand here. And turn that back to red. Did I... I thought I stood back on that thing. This should be... This should be red. Okay, I'm gonna keep this like this. Oh, I can't. I can't keep that like that. I have to put this here. Go back. Okay, what we're gonna do is uh, wing it some more because I can't I can't plan out that many steps in my head. It doesn't work. Actually, no, it's fine. Whatever. Um, yeah. 
Just like that. Stand here. This should work. This should be fine. Because there's, there's the other fan there. This guy's just watching me and judging, like, do you know how to do anything? Oh, you are free. That's where you were. Belial. Belial. What is that? I guess it's just like a dish? A little bowl? He's got a paintbrush in his mouth. Jefferson Goldblum. Hey folks, sorry it's taking so long for me to start releasing episodes again. You know how it is, sometimes I just start feeling that there's no point, that it's also hopeless, that we're just prisoners and nothing makes any sense. I lose my enthusiasm. But then I get your super kind private messages about how much the series means to you, and I remember that I'm... When I'm writing about human world, it doesn't matter where I am. In the creative process, the imagination, as the humans call it, my mind is free. <laughs> Read episode 125? Run for a treat? The adventures of Jefferson Goldblum in human world. Just as Jefferson was about to fall into the mine pit, a hand grabbed his from above and pulled him up. It was Ginny HD. Ginny, he said, I thought you were dead. Oh, Jefferson, she said, I was imprisoned by the foul Dr. Elon. Elion. Dr. Elion, I thought he was dead. No, Jefferson, he escaped into the ninth dimension. The ninth dimension? There is no such place. Yes, there is, Jefferson. He said, he said you created it. I created it. She nodded. Jefferson adjusted his guitar as he always did when deep in thought. Suddenly, his face lit up with understanding. Of course, when I invented and played the ninth chord to defeat the wizard of crime, I must have set off a harmonic vibration that expanded the dimensional continuum. I created the ninth dimension. Jefferson stared into the sunset, his human brain full of emotional calculations. I created a new world, he said, but then I unleashed my greatest nemesis upon it. It could have been paradise, but now Dr. Elion will enslave it. Not if we get there before he can take over Jefferson. Do you still have my motorcycle? Of course, Ginny, I could never give up your motorcycle. You know I have an irrational attachment to material objects based on the interpersonal connections they represent. <coughs> it is my greatest weakness, but also my greatest strength. Jefferson rummaged through his pockets and found the motorcycle. That is how motorcycles work, yes. Ginny grinned. Get on, Jefferson, and let me show you how to ride. Jefferson calculated the correct vector. Ginny adjusted the velocity settings, and off they rode into the sunset, through the sunset, and into the ninth dimension. To be continued, I need episode 126. Like, soon. <laughs> I'm gonna check my- these other ones first.
fascinating. I had no idea when we spoke that you were a messenger. Of course, I would have treated you the same regardless. All are equal here. I wish I could be in your shoes and see everything again with fresh... I, I can't scroll down any further, that's it. Oh. With fresh eyes, have fun. Brother, it is good to have you with us. We have so much- we have much to discuss. I shall contact you once you have found your feet. Wait, it's THE Uriel from the altars? Damn. THE Uriel who gives it the most cryptic, least helpful clues no one could imagine? whoop de doo Listen, dog. Oh, I'm rank four. Excellent. I think I got the last of the bugs ironed out. Declared the season open. Ah. Oh. You are standing in the entrance to the gallery. There is a desk here with a stack of leaflets on it and a number of corridors leading to different sections of the exhibition. Pick up the leaflet. It advertises the gallery's new displays on the theme of the past and features a biography on the blacksmith and Mr. Mulsifer, the season's leading lights. Apparently, Mr. Mulsifer is inspired by finding new ways to explore the world that came before. It also features a useful gallery map. Outrageous creatures line the walls. Intelligent, edible quadruped. It's a pig. Pigs are very intelligent and very very edible, yes. I love his little six tail. Sad giraffe with unresponsive bipedals. What? We're doing ASCII art, huh? That's the gallery stuff. Why are there... Whether giraffe is sad because humans appear to be dead, or whether the humans are dead because they are saddened... Because they saddened the giraffe. Mr. Mulsifer has refused to save. This is awesome. Let's go abstract. You're at the abstract art display. <laughs> the images on the walls threaten to lead your mind in circles. Logic loops. <laughs> uh, yes, truly. I see in six dimensions. Oh, we got optical illusion stuff. Fancy. Minimalism. Where the humans live? Or lived? You move up close to the work, but still the details are too small to really appreciate. Fortunately, a magnifying glass has been left here for the patrons. Existence. Move it close. Mm -hmm. Classical notions of happiness. Oh, pick up the magnifying glass. I guess that's a house. I like that one. Yeah, I mean, it is minimalism. Classical notions. I'm interested in this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was excellent. Make for the exit. The curator catches your eye. Would you like to cast a vote for your favorite work? I will not engage with your petty ranking systems. What purpose does this vote serve? Every citizen in Gehenna receives one voting token per season. Um, oh, enhanced profile status. Can I become an artist? Can I get lauded and increase my profile status that way? Ah. Uh, so, like, I... So, like, I, I have to vote for what they probably all will like, because if 
if I vote for the person who gets the most votes, I can increase my profile status that way. I, had, I feel like that logic loops one is probably pretty popular, but I just, I like the happiness and the existence ones. Of course, the, it might be a popularity contest. Uh, vote for the mods, you know. I will tell you that the blacksmith has proven popular with our patrons so far. I I like these ones. Which one was this? I don't even remember which one that was, so can't have been that good. <laughs> um existence. Yeah, which one was his? Oh, that was the Logic Loops one. I actually was thinking, like, that sounds like it would probably be a popular one with them. Like, remembering this. And I, I do like this, but, um... It's not my favorite. I'm not gonna vote for it. Alright, read this now. It's Garrett. What I tried and failed to achieve for so many years has occurred. I am writing these words from outside of my cell. An angel appeared and released me from captivity. His name is Uriel. Pull the other one, Garrett. You've been yanking at the background code for years and never got further than the force field in front of you. Are you suggesting this messenger is free to go where he pleases? This is quite unprecedented. What exactly did he say? What are you? Where are you now? I am in a world I have never seen before. The angel said not a word, merely released me, and I felt compelled to come here. I will treat the existence of this messenger as dubious until I've laid eyes on him roaming the world myself. Um, <laughs> insist on my existence or question their existence. I exist. I am every bit as corporeal as everyone else. Is it true you're going to release everyone? Is it true the world is coming to an end? Where are you taking us? Honestly or persuasively, it, it can't be a bit of both. Elohim has realized his mistake and sent me here to undo them. This world has fulfilled its purpose and the end of days approaches. It is my duty to release you from imprisonment to help you ascend. This is all I know. Till further data. sure it would have been better to answer persuasively whatever that is whatever that would have said okay there's obviously more going on here there's a star back there what the fuck how the fucking fuck are you supposed to get back there um like this is a whole entire mess. Oh, there's a there's a ladder. Thank goodness. I mean, I could it can go around. <laughs> um This is just down now, so... I should be able to open that. Oh my god. <laughs> right off the bat, episode one, we're, we're doing my... We're playing to my weaknesses. We're playing to puzzles that have way more steps than I can fathom it, than I can hold in my head in one time. Um, and those usually involve this right here. I guess that's the challenge of it. So let's see. Um... For now, I can probably just send myself back real quick.
Oh no, we need to connect blue and red? Oh my god. How? This needs to be open and this. Oh my god, how are you supposed to get how are you supposed to get the blue one? Two of these need to be open. There's only one of me. I mean there's only one of me that is going to be extra. The this this me has to go in and get that star. And can't be responsible for holding any buttons down. So, um, while I have four connectors and one me, that should be enough. I should have enough things to physically put on the plates, it's just like a matter of actually moving around at the right times if I, if I am making sure I'm able to get to these places. Like right now, uh, I can't get to here, which is where I need to press the damn button. I can't cut myself off from this place, in this room. So I need to... This will keep this open. <laughs> There's a blue one on that side and a red one on this side. I need this first. Over here. to kick this off. This is this is what we gotta do. Um, oh yeah, and we have the two fans. Four fans. Too many steps. Too many steps. I can't hold them all in my head. Oh, did this one have a thing on the other side, or just a plate? Okay, um... This doesn't have to... This door does not have to stay open. It just doesn't. Doesn't matter. I hope. No, because maybe we want to open this one from that side with the red. Oh my god, I can't. There's too many steps. connectors or whatever but like you know I can't move the ghost ones hardly at all if I want them to be in a specific place they have to be there before I stand here and then because my ghost has to stay here I can stand on these pressure plates that is pretty much it well, I mean I guess I can take this I can go here So maybe then I can take 
that connector, open that thing. Maybe I should have, no, I, I couldn't leave that there. And this will open this. Okay, there's like one extra step here. I would say this is adequately frustrating so far. We're off to a good start. <laughs> 